Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over Carrie's book and her fitness, the Find Your Path on Your Body, Fuel Your Soul, and Get Strong with a Fit 52 Life. And this one is all about getting started with your fitness. Are you new to fitness? It can be intimidating, I know. I've been off and on in fitness for 20 years and it's still intimidating for me. Carrie says that some people feel like they have to overhaul every little part of their lives to get fit, but that is too daunting. All you have to do is start moving. All you have to do is walk and you don't need any special information on how to walk. You just have to be more active during the, during the day and your body will adjust. When being active becomes a regular part of your life and it isn't as hard as it used to be, that's when you know to start a more organized fitness plan. Carrie's advice for anybody who is planning on getting healthier is to get moving and make healthy swaps. As you saw, or and if you didn't, um, a few videos back, I had a, a video on healthy swaps for chocolate gravy and biscuits. It was Carrie's recipe that it was a healthy swap for her mom's chocolate biscuits and gravy when Carrie actually uses healthy swaps to some of the, some of the ingredients. And instead of biscuits, she used English muffins. If you missed that video, uh, make sure to go see watch that after you watch this video i will have it posted at the end for you i also will try to remember to post it right here <laughs> just doing these two things moving and making healthy swaps will make a huge difference carrie says to start right now where you are and decide to move at your own pace one thing i'm going to be doing that's going to help me stay motivated is I actually got this little book and it says my week on it and um, I think I got it in the dollar spot at Target um, and it is cute because it has this little areas so where you can write in eat, and it's like divided off and then it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and the weekend on it. Um, I had started this couple of weeks ago but then life got a little hectic and I don't want to say I fell off this health life new lifestyle but um when major things happen in your life that change what you normally do well that happened and so I had some stuff written down here but then I erased it because I want to start off new starting tomorrow and this what I'm going to do is have all my goals that I want for the day and one of those will be working out and um, and if I am successful in doing whatever that goal is I will put a check mark next to it and or actually I was gonna do check marks but then I was like who doesn't like stickers I went to Michaels and I bought these fun little stickers and there's some big stickers on here and then there's like these little smaller stickers. There's these little smaller stickers and on this, the smaller stickers I'm going to use, here's a good page for smaller stickers. I am going to put instead of check marks of after successfully doing um, the whole or doing the um, activity that I need to be doing, I will put a sticker in that little box next to it. And if I do every single thing on that day for a week, I, I can pick out a big sticker and I will put it somewhere on the page. Probably for this one will probably be up here. But once I get further, like the next day or whatever, if I do the whole week and I do everything on there, that I plan to do, then I'll put it up here. And I'm, I may do something for, if I feel like the whole day, 
I'll do everything for a day, everything. I may put another sticker, but maybe not because there's not a whole bunch of room. Anyway, that is one way that I'm going to try to stay motivated to keep working out and getting into my new fitness routine. But what I want to do is I'm going to start off slowly because I don't want to just jump into it. Because if I say, oh, I'm going to work every day, work out every single day this week, then I may go a day or two, maybe even three, and then be like, yeah, this isn't working or I'm too tired, I'm too sore. So <laughs> my goal is to do like this first week, make sure I work out at least one day. And the next week I'll do two days that week. And if I do more that week, great. If not, I'm not going to beat myself up as long as I get the many as I started off with or planned on starting off with. So that's me starting at my own pace. And if you only walk for 10 minutes or go to the gym for the first time in month and get on the elliptical trainer and sweat just a little, it will make a difference. And if you only make one healthy swap in your favorite meal, like using whole, whole grain pasta instead of white pasta, olive oil instead of butter, and a veggie burger instead of that big bacon cheeseburger, all those is one step into the right direction. Or it could be that you skip that one soda a day that you normally drink or cut your normal serving size down just a little bit that is all progress okay the next part is um, called the journal of you and what I did is I went to Target and I just picked up a cute little journal like this Carrie said all you have to do is start writing just like she said start moving this is just start writing uh, Carrie keeps a journal that means a lot to her. I actually keep a journal too, but it's a little bit different than what Carrie keeps. Her journal keeps her accountable and honest. She doesn't tell many people about her life, but she does tell her journal. She includes what she did to that, that day or anything unusual that happened. She also includes what she ate and how many calories she ate and mac macronutrients such as proteins, carbs, and fat that she had that day. She also does how much exercise she did that day and other things that are important to her. In your journal, you can use the space to reflect on the way your life is now and the life that you ideally want to have. You can write these thoughts by hand like Carrie and I do with real journal pages or you can keep your journal on your computer. Whatever me method that you are more likely to keep up with is probably the best or to stick with is probably the best journal for you or just the best way for you. In this first part, um, Carrie reflects on her childhood. This can be a valuable way that you can look back and discover why you feel the way that you do about who you are, how you live, or how you got to where you are today. So it says, um, so the questions for that she has in this journal entry um, it is what number one what was your earliest memories of physical activity were you into sports did you like to play outside number two is what was the most fun active thing you did as a kid see if you can remember how it felt to move when you were young and I'm looking down because I'm reading out her book um, do you number three do you still feel that way about exercise or has your attitude or practice of it changed since childhood. Number four, what are your earliest food memories? What did you love to eat? What did you dislike? Number five, what kind of attitudes did you did your family have about food? Was health a priority in your family or not so much? Do you remember things your parents or friends said about food that stuck with you? Number six, do you still feel the way you felt then or have your ideas about food and health changed. 
And number seven, what is important to you? What are your beliefs? Think about what matters to you and whether you live by those beliefs. If you don't, what's stopping you? All right, if you decide to do this and go along with me on this Fit 52 Life or write in your journal or deciding to make a lifestyle change, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to go on this journey with you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. All right, until next time. Bye.